An unnamed informed source told Russian news agency RIA Novosti that Russia conducted successful field tests of a laser gun, destroying several drones of various types. Successful tests of a combat laser designed to destroy unmanned aerial vehicles were carried out at one of the Russian military training grounds. The laser gun demonstrated high efficiency in hitting UAVs, the agency's interlocutor said. The statement was translated from Russian to English. The source explained that during the tests, the combat laser of the infrared spectrum ensured the physical destruction of drones, in particular, burning the aerodynamic surfaces of the vehicles or burning their body along with onboard equipment. The source further added that the laser destroyed drones of both aircraft and quadcopter types. The testing comes when Russia has been ravaged by drone attacks that it attributes to Ukraine. In the last 48 hours, it alleged that a whopping 42 drones attacked Crimea in what is being touted as one of the biggest Ukrainian aerial attacks on Russian-held territory. As per claims made by the Russian Ministry of Defense, Ruman, in the aftermath of the attack, about nine drones were destroyed and the remaining 33 were suppressed using electronic jamming before they crashed over Crimea without successfully ramming into designated targets. Ukraine's drone attacks on Russia have seen a surge in recent weeks, especially since the Kremlin attack that rattled the power centers in Moscow and triggered a massive retaliation. Russian air defense forces are believed to be working overtime to combat drone attacks along the front lines and beyond. A laser-based gun that destroys UAVs would, thus, add more teeth to Russia's defense against these drones at a time when drone warfare has become popular in modern battlefields for their affordability and ease of production as well as operation. LASER stands for Light Amplification by Stimulated Emission of Radiation. A laser weapon is a specific kind of directed energy weapon that damages targets and strikes a target with a series of quick light pulses. Several laser kinds could be employed as disabling non-lethal weapons. Compared to traditional projectile weapons like bullets and missiles, lasers and other directed energy weapons have some significant advantages. For instance, the light outputs of the weapons can move at the speed of light, the weapons attack the targets precisely, and they can modulate their energy output, switching between high and low power. The ease of operation and the precision with which laser weapons work without causing collateral damage or loss of life of unintended targets is one of the primary reasons advanced militaries worldwide have been developing laser weapons. Much like Russia's anti-drone laser gun, the laser is widely used for air defense. There were speculations last year that Russia had become the first country to use laser weapons in combat to burn down enemy drones. In a detailed article, Eurasian Times noted that the country was believed to have two different laser weapons in its arsenal, the Persevi and Zadira. Yuri Borisov, the deputy prime minister in charge of military development, told the media previously, if pair of it blinds, then the new generation of laser weapons lead to the physical destruction of the target, thermal destruction, they burn up, he told Russian state television. When asked whether such weapons were being used in Ukraine, Borisov said, yes. The prototypes are already being used there. He said the weapon was called, Zadira.
However, the use of these weapons was quickly dismissed by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who mocked Russian claims as baseless. In addition, an official with the U.S. Department of Defense said he had not seen anything to corroborate reports of lasers being used in Ukraine. Russia is not the only country acquiring, testing, and fielding laser weapons and laser-based countermeasures like air defenses. The world's leading nations are actively working on tactical laser suppression and destruction systems, which should, particularly, hit drones and missiles in the air. In a separate development, High-energy laser beams were successfully used in January this year by a group of Chinese academics from Northwestern Polytechnical University NPU, to power a drone, thereby keeping it in the air forever. As opposed to bringing the target drone down, this innovation was keenly watched to keep it afloat. Besides China, Japan has also been working on laser-based anti-drone technology, as became evident when Japanese defense companies Kawasaki Heavy Industries Ki, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries MHI, unveiled their respective laser systems for shooting down approaching hostile unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, at the DSEI Japan 2023 show. Laser weapons are a brand new class of weapon that all militaries are concentrating on creating, especially as militaries worldwide are extensively acquiring lethal drones. When a high-powered laser is concentrated on a single spot on a drone, and the energy level is high enough, the weapon can immediately burn through the UAV's control panel making it an efficient anti-drone system.